Welcome back, everyone, to Kaiser Right. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, Mr. J Empire of Japan Lover, too. But apparently, there's an inv imminent Chinese invasion. Reports from the border indicate that we'll soon be under attack from the wretched neighbors in the Republic of China. Dissatisfied with the government, V. Kuyin Wellington Ku has formally denounced us before a crowd in Beijing. Since then, more and more units have amassed along the border. Small skirmishes have already begun as their opponents making probing attacks, and tensions spike. We must hurt our defenses lest we be crushed under the weight of our foes. Assemble the general staff, which kind of sucks for us. So, we'll see. Hopefully we can hold off against them. I really wanted to wait until America was done and build up our forces more, but we're running out of manpower right now, too, so... We'll see. Um, in the meantime, we're still building ourselves up, getting more radar, getting more planes. It's shipping our guys back from uh, North America, and we did put some garrisons down here, too. Cavalry. And they're, they're okay. 12 combat width is not great, but they did put some engineers and uh, support artillery to give them a little more staying power. But we're still island hopping a whole bunch um, across the Pacific here to help shore up any uh, potential areas of... Um, I'm not sure if I say mistrust, but uh, just kind of making sure that we don't get involved and lose stuff here. We've got two divisions going this way. We're going to do some of this. That's fine. Good job. China attempts to seize concessions. Uh, less than an hour ago, the Chinese troops have attempted to enter concessions and despite fierce resistance and stand... To seize them entirely before the day is done. We must decide here now whether we will stay out of the rescue and put down the Chinese menace once for all. They cannot be defended. Um, we threaten war, deploy the fleet. If they accept, we get an aggression pact. If they refuse, let's see what happens. Because no matter what, we're still going to have to do all this island hopping, which we're actually doing a pretty good job with um, overall. We should have done this a while ago, but you know, it is what it is, whatever. And just go there. So we're going to do that, please. Thank you very much. More military factories are nice, even though we don't really need as much anymore. So we plenty of planes and whatnot. And finish Naval Aviation Department. And we'll get to zero next. And what is the next ideal? Very good, very good, very good. And the Chinese say what? They seize the concessions. Despite the threat of war, Chinese troops have moved into the concessions, overcome the meager resistance presented by garrisons and local militia forces. Now we must make good on promises, and the time has come for, uh, for war. And war shall be. Well, I don't want to do that. And you know what? Probably with this war. Uh, America will probably want the rest of its land back, too. So, we'll see. But once we get our soldiers over here, we should be okay. Um, I'm just going to let them grind on us as much as possible. I do want to protect Port Arthur as well, because that would be a very important concession for us to keep. So, But we're going to continue moving all along through here. So this campaign has definitely gone off uh, definitely than what I originally envisioned it to uh, happen. So, and if anything, I'm actually going to do this with the next freaking company. Three is very nice. It is 1943. I'm going to grab some nuclear bombs, and you're going to stay here and not lose Port Arthur, hopefully. Even though you're going to get the crap being out of you. So, we need someone who's good on defense. Someone extremely good on defense. Uh, and we need more manpower, too. But we don't have enough war support because I wanted to annex everything directly. Which probably was a mistake, but whatever. You guys are making it back, which is good. And you guys are just kind of hanging out here with all the garrisons and whatnot. We get 1.31 political power, support, Nippon Soda. We need more war propaganda. Um, radio propaganda would be nice too. Uh, weekly war support for how many days? 90, 10, a little more than 5%, but we could use more war support immediately. So, because we need to get to a next level of mobilization, because 45,000 soldiers fight China is not enough. We need more than 20% world's war support. So, that's how we're doing over here. We're doing fine. You get down here, we'll get down there. Uh, good, 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 good. Let's see, invade from here to there. That's fine. Invade from here to there. That's fine. Invade from here to there. Get there, there. And there to there. And someone's going to invade from here to there. Also, I converted these guys to all Marines at this point, because we might as well. Come on, and you got it, nice. Socialist Republic of Italy is gone. Good job with that, whoever did that. Don't really care too much, in all honesty. Three more divisions. Very good. We've got the zeros done. Scrap and build program. Oh, there you go. Six divisions right there. And we were guys up here too. That should be pretty nice overall. And we have no map right now. Because we're trying to make more divisions. Also, we do have these guys up here too. Go figure. Armored cars. How many armored cars do we have? Almost 4,000. It's not bad. Garrisons. How about I introduce you to a armored car? There you go. And we've got enough ma uh, land XP that this is fine. Hey, that gives us 60,000 more manpower immediately. And if that's the case, we're going to throw in another armor guard, too. 67 is going to jump up to, what, 84. Not bad. 
Could be better, could be worse. But still, not bad. 10% world attention, or what's where I should say. Great struggle, we send in the army, we're at 72%, so now we get 1.32, which is decent overall. Fall of Cairo, that's fine. Six divisions should be good enough. Um, if they keep amassing more soldiers, I wonder if we can hold out here. Because I just want them to grind up on us as much as humanly possible. Additionally, we will need all of our ships here, too. I can't imagine the Air Force is very strong. And we have quite a few decent uh, ships here as well. Ooh, you need another thing here. Where are you at? HNS Massachusetts, huh? Where are you at? There you are. 20, 20. What do we got? 23. Fighters. There we go. Now that's really fleshed out. That's really good, actually. You guys can do this. You can go here. You can do this. You can do that. If we can beat China, we can beat America. Easily. Go ahead. Oh, wait. Uh, you, you wait. Go to win again. Oh, we got a couple divisions down there, don't we? Not ideal, but whatever. We'll do whatever we can. You hold here. You are going to need to do this and jump there. Uh, not there. Hello? You just hold there for now. Good, good, good. Anything else we've done around here? Good. You go there. You stop this. You jump from... No, no click on that. From there to... Oh, right there. How many days do we need? Should be good to go pretty soon. Disperse industry is nice. Oil is fine. And we're almost out of manpower. God dang it. Diversify elite forces. That'd be a waste right now. Uh, Get more weekly wars for would be pretty nice. 11% is not good enough. Fall of Alexandria. I don't think there's anything else to give us more war support right now, either, which kind of sucks, not going to lie. Check out these indies. Uh, group along the lands, that's fine. Uh, F agency is highly likely that our troops will soon be deployed for combat in tropical zones. This difficult and harsh terrain presents challenges to conducting military operations, but may also provide an opportunity if we're able to master the style of warfare before our enemies do. Found the... Taishin Dan. Experiments have proven the practicality and usefulness of using airborne troops to land troops behind enemy lines. Other nations have begun to form paratroop units, so why not our own? The Taishin Shudan shall be a new special force unit capable of practicing vertical envelopment and capturing key objectives and retention of mobility. Uh, I think I've heard this before, but I want comparison to, our, to Asia, our forces don't come up lacking when it comes to sheer firepower and technological superiority. It's not those factors alone that will win us wars. So having a mobile army is just as important, and the vast Chinese plans will be what us, wins us the size of battles. But we'll see what happens when we go to war with China. Alright everyone, so we've actually made a little bit of a game in China. We're doing actually pretty well. We linked up with Port Arthur. However, uh, Russia declared war on us and completely annexed Transamir. So we're at war with them now. Um, I don't want to offer peace to China because I know we can beat them up. But maybe we can offer peace to the Russian Republic just because we can't handle um, Russia uh, and China and trying to get ready to invade the rest of the United States. Because Russia, well, they've won Europe. I mean, it, it's Russia's made it out very, very well in this campaign. But let's see if we can offer them peace once we read about it. Well, the Russians have bested our armies and now control our territories in the mainland, avenging their defeat in 1905 once and for all. While they're incapable of invading the home islands, the shame and humiliation of this defeat has sparked massive internal unrest. Best course of action is now negotiating a peace, no matter the shame, and turning to combat uh, our new internal problems. So what happens if we offer them peace? They accept peace. So, the Russian bears accept a conditional surrender, allowing us to retreat our army from the mainland Asia back to the safety of the home islands. Well, this is a humiliating defeat, at least one, within a total one. Our independence from the European imperialists has been, has been maintained. At least our boys are back home safe. So we listed this to the Cicadian and Kuril Islands. That's fine. You know, even though we did develop the Scalian Islands a little bit, there's a little bit of fuel we're going to lose. It sucks. For what we're doing right now in China, I'd rather lose that than lose the war completely and utterly and totally. So, hopefully, we won't have any internal stability issues. They call us the Fading Sun. Are we really the Fading Sun? Of course not. Uh, but I do see a few issues around here. Where are most of our ships? So, they want to raid us, which is not ideal. But we're here just to pretty much best the Chinese. Because if we can annex the whole of China, I think we'll do pretty darn well. Um, so if we can stop blowing up our convoys, that'd be great. 
which we still gotta get rid of the German East Asians, but we're also setting up a potential invasion of Saigon, which will open up a two-front war basically with China. The goal is to continue exhausting the Chinese as they've just, uh, well, they're not doing so great against us. Because right now we've lost 136,000 to them. You know, Britain is just holding out. Burma's there. French Republic. We've actually killed off the most out of them all. It's amazing how badly things have gone in this campaign for some people. We've killed off 1.2 million of the Chinese, which is fantastic. As you can see, they're still attacking us. Well, I think it's the Chinese are still attacking us. Um, it might not be the Chinese. Oh, there they go. See? They just, they just keep throwing their men. Of course, they got their China. They got millions of men still in reserve. But the most important thing for us is to exhaust uh, their reserves of equipment. And hopefully they'll get there, as we'll continue pushing slowly and surely. It's just, it caught me off by surprise that Russia declared war on us, which makes perfect sense for them to do. But as you can see, we've got quite a bit of an Air Force around here, and I'll see you when you got more of them taken care of. So, as you can see on screen, we've expanded a little bit more. Casualties first, though. A quarter million against the Chinese and the German East Asians, actually, in the French Republic. We delivered uh, four and a half million to, basically, China. Basically. Um, we did open up a second front down here in the south, like I said, uh, but we just stopped basically the border of when or Vietnam was or German Southeast Asia. I've been slowly increasing how many soldiers we have down here too, so. Uh, we're doing quite well with that scavenger. I'd rather have this one. We're just holding down there in the south, but we are on the offensive here in the north. Uh, hopefully we can get to the border with Mongolia so that we can, like, stop and cut off a lot of these enemy divisions because things are kind of a mess around here. But what else do you expect, you know? No, honestly, these can just wait. These don't really matter too much. Just finish off the ports, eh, for the most part. <clears throat> and start putting up more of the roads and whatnot. Because we're going to need it. And we're doing all right. You know, you only had to eliminate a couple thousand enemies, you know, that's all. Playing wise I'm sure we're not doing super great just because, uh, well, our range kind of sucks wherever we're fighting. And while we do have air superiority, it ain't that much. So we can get to through here-ish, or up here. That would be fantastic. Can you actually do that? Maybe not. Here, you hold. Oops, I got that. A little too aggressive for that. Got plenty of naval XP. Um, what do we got here? Go and do that. It's fine. Row? Sure. Two. Oh, better anti air. Nice, yes. That's fine. Da, da. Kind of voice, because we're going to get more naval stuff, anyways. It's fine, whatever. And we're not making, we're not doing any focuses yet, just because I need more political power. We're sending the army, still fighting control, uh, struck against South League of Southeast Asia or Southeast Provinces. Uh, we can use more of that. Why not? We're actually spreading out very, very well through all this. As uh, they're still attacking us down here in the south. So, ooh, ooh, that's not ideal. Hopefully, Sam holds because that would open up a gigantic new front for us down south. So I'm glad we're attacking right now. The north though is going to fall very, very nicely. Hold and get out of there. Because China has got to go. You know what? Um, as long as Siam doesn't... Siam is actually pushing in, it looks like, maybe. Maybe. Uh, we're not going to say yes for now. It looks like they've opened up a lot of their uh, provinces, though. Well, they've got off nearly 400,000 of them. That's fantastic. I'm sure they're mobilizing more, but they should be completely out of guns and whatnot, which is good. Over here, what are we doing? We gotta see what else they're doing, and we're actually gonna start throwing some soldiers here. Um, throw them in here, and then throw them. Hmm. We're gonna places to put people. There, maybe. So right now we're on a definite time frame here. Okay, so we cut them off, which is actually very, very good. Which means anything we can find it through here, if they can send any convoys through here, well, they're they're just gonna die. Exactly what we wanted too. Uh, that's the case. How much anti-air do we have? 8.7. That's not bad. It does give our guys a little bit more piercing if we do that. Anti-air goes up to 25. I'm okay with that. Are we out of anti-air? No, we're good for anti-air. Plane-wise, it's still be good to do. Uh, Artie's fine. There we go. Siam's fine, too. <clears throat> but to reinforce in Europe, they have to send in convoys. And we've got a lot of submarines working right now. Screw it. You can have that. You're probably fighting them too anyways. It's fine. Cypher. Cool. Thank you very much. And, like I said, I'm just trying to collect some more political power. 
Strike against the League of South East Provinces. Uh, sure. Let's see, for war support, we've lost a lot in both combat casualties and convoys raided. Uh, combat casualties first. To help offset how much damage you're taking from that stuff. And here, we're going to attack. Source extraction is nice. We're going to do this. Thank you very much. Yeah, overall, once you start smashing through their lines, it's going way better than what it was initially, or what we were doing, so. Nice. Now we've had another wall. That goes Wuhan, which is good. To capitulate the Republic of China, we just gotta keep pushing in through, which kinda sucks. Because now we're fighting this giant wall of just bodies down here. Which really sucks. Truly god awful. <clears throat> oh, okay. I'm kinda glad they didn't go to war with us, which is good and all, but still. Alright, so we've got a lot of bodies down here. We're gonna wait and hold. Just hold and hold, 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 hold. We're gonna need time to build up uh well, a lot of supply and whatnot through here. What else we got? Build up some supply through here too. Do that. And it looks like you will need to build some supply through here to there. You're gonna need a little bit of time. They will start attacking us at some point somewhere. So I'm not super worried about that. You actually will probably be able to take this. There you go. So casualty. <clears throat> 300,000 versus so over 7 million. And I knew they would attack us again eventually, so. It was Havana. Russia's done incredibly well, so it looks like Siam is mostly holding out. You know what? Fine. We'll have non-aggression back with you. <clears throat> Take your soldiers off the border and defend as best you can. And for all of our best interests. So now, because it's mostly the Republic of China attacking us through here. Now it's time for the League of Southeast, South, League of Southeast Provinces to do that as well, because they've just been sitting there. They got quite a few divisions. They got a ton of equipment, ton of manpower, but they'll burn through that pretty quickly if they don't know what they're doing. So, um, anything else? Yes, Mark Peter attack is very good. Anything else here? Yes, please. Escort efficiency, sinking stuff. You know, if that's the case, I'm gonna throw because we got a lot of extra subs. We have a little bit further to go through now. <clears throat> if you start sending stuff through here, oh, especially for the German stuff, that'd be nice. Can see this guy's level five. He's almost level six. Should be able to start sinking a lot of goods through here. I might lose an occasional sub, which is fine. You know, it happens. Yeah, this has been most of the campaign, but maybe we'll start doing a focus, shall we? Oh, the Tokyo Conference. Pan-Asian thought is generally supported by a large segment of the political classes and is a useful tool regardless. By hosting a major conference in Tokyo and inviting diplomats from all over Asia, we can encourage cooperation between the Asiatics to stand against Western imperialism. <clears throat> or those we deem, uh, imperialists. Countries at war, whatever it is, what it is. Um, I'll go for war support, why not? We're done with the land auction, but I like war support. Kingdom of Siam attends Tokyo Conference. Representatives from the Kingdom of Siam arrive in Tokyo and discussions are well underway, as well as insulin India. Eh, maybe we'll actually ask them, or ask them to join us, maybe. We'll see. Oh, yeah. That's good. Started hitting them really hard there. Building up all those railroads here too. Very good. Ah, oh, what do you have around here? I would like for this guy to become adaptable though. He's learned a lot. He's almost of an invader. Becoming a ranger maybe too. Be good. Wow, we're seeing a crap ton of convoys. Eight million, almost a million from Yunnan itself. One point six million from the League of Southeast Asia, Southeast Asian provinces. South from them. Five and a half million from the Republic of China. Joint condemnation of Western imperialism. A summit in Tokyo today saw his first motion come forward. A fairly uncontroversial one that aims of all members on a condemnation of Western colonialist <clears throat> exploitation of Asiatic peoples. And there is a repudiation of unequal treaties. Expect to have a major support and to lead, ma uh, lead into major other businesses. Taking the chances of courage, I'm assigned. On the dotted line, if you would, please, thank you. <clears throat> nice, ah, March is good. Sink everything they've got. The Osaka Economic Bureau. 
In Osaka and other major industrial cities, in a historic trade hub, we have decided to set up a commission drawn from all over Asia. Its duties are mainly concerned in the economic ties between members of the greater East Asian Core Prosperity Sphere. By putting resources into this, we can promote outtracking economic self-confidence amongst Asians and consider influence over them even further. Cool. Anything else we could do here? Not too much, no. Fucking sucks. The Tokyo Resolution on trade. Uh, therefore, the attendees of this conference argued or agree that in order to promote pan Asian cooperation um, <clears throat> and brotherhood, treaties concerning trade should be set up and brought to the top of the national agenda in each uh, nation with a view towards establishing a common Asian customs area and protecting the economics or economies of Asiatic people from the predatory Western economic principles, which are perfect. They must agree. Why not? Just sinking tons of their convoys. My god. I love it. <clears throat> wow. Bracket shooting is good. What else we got around here? Call for deeper economic ties. Asia must succeed. We're preparing a package of memoranda for the Tokyo Conference, calling for a deepening economic integration between our economy um, <clears throat> and those of the attendees. Favorable trade terms, privileges for Japanese companies, currency exchange mechanisms, and much more all part of the broader plan. In its current form, however, some, some of the attendees may be put off by the package and drop out. We can lessen the terms, giving them a better deal, making them more likely to agree, but at the cost of economic integration, more difficult in the long term. Lessen the terms of the agreements. No, we're good. Insulindia drops out. It would seem that the Insulindian dignitaries become uncomfortable with our proposals of the Tokyo Conference and have elected to drop out of the further talks. What a shame. Final resolution of military alliance, ostensibly for anti colonial purposes. The time has now arrived to bring the remaining conference attendees on board the full military alliance of opposed arrivals. For our better to let the blows fall on them, after all. And the Kingdom of Siam at least aligns with us. It seems the statesmen of the Kingdom of Siam have agreed that their path of prosperity and strength comes from cooperation with the premium empire of Asia, the Empire of Japan. We shall be making arrangements to bring them into the formal military alliance that underpins a greater East Asian co prosperity sphere. Great. Well, welcome aboard, guys. Hopefully. Guys, it looks like you could probably use it. Oh, also, since we're here. Planes. Cannons, we like huge cannons. Integrate the greater Asian economy. <clears throat> Economic power is key to all, and with undisputed mastery over Asia at our disposal, we can begin the process that we started in Osaka. Tying the economies of East Asia closer to us in order to make them a subject to our will. Or bring Siam to the full. Well, we held out hopes that the Siamese would prove amendable to an alliance, but seeing that isn't the case, we must exert force to bring them in line. Well, let's do this one first. Yeah, I got some more worse parts too. Why not? Slightly better recovery rate. Ah, oh, they're still attacking us. Look at that. Keep building up those air bases. We're gonna need them to blitz through these enemy lines. What do we got here? Tons of planes. Wow. We really do have tons of planes. That's fantastic. Let them become developed. Because my god, we're gonna need them. So, where are we for cryptology? We're still working on them. Gonna take a little bit longer, unfortunately. We need some of this, and we're gonna need some of this. I lost you too. So, the League, <clears throat> right now, has 404,000 men power. Republic of China is at 400,000, because they did go to service by requirement. Yunnan is at 600,000, and Hunan is 400,000 too. They love their fours. That is what it is. Co-Prosperity Naval Development Plan. The dockyard capacity of most of our allies is just laughable. While the workers will never match the Japanese spear, we must support their naval capacity buildup uh, as each and every ship will be needed in the next war. Or maybe in the current war too, you know? Because my god, they just love attacking like crazy. Gorilla Fighter. Oh, you're fine. Go with Breakthrough because you can. The next huge attack or assault they do, um, we're going to just go ahead and just push out. 
Alright, so... Oh, we can invite a man with the Siamese government having indicated its interest in an alliance of the Tokyo Conference. Now it remains only for Melody to conclude our talks. Invite them. The Kingdom of Siam is either an unaligned nation or it's already a Japanese ally. In either case, it's an excellent candidate for its approach for admittance into a greater Asia co-prosperity sphere for the benefit and especially ours. <clears throat> They've accepted. Nice. Target get India. And he's the power that lies in the wings, and one with enough manpower to tip the scales should be. Well, they've agreed. Um, let them exist outside of our control. Oh, look at that. For too long, we must act to subjugate them, and quickly. Cool. Mission to India. Prosperity ships. We're already building our ships by using certain uh, serial build models. But now our demands for cargo ships is higher than ever before. Our bright engineers propose to build whole ships from modules which will be manufactured on a factory line. Naval Engineering Assistance. The target of the Naval Engineering Assistance program is simple. Allow our allies to build something more than mere cargo ships and unified uh, production. Now that our allies' naval production is up and running, we can use a new capacity to build a big enough fleet to help protect the entire sphere. Fantastic. What do they want? Sure. You can help out if you really, really want to. Don't really need you to help out, but that's alright. Please don't send soldiers our way. Just help defend your own lands. That's all we need. Look at that. That bitch is going insane. I love it. Don't get me wrong. Ah, good. That's good. Here. Get a port right there. We got a lot of road development here. That's good to see that. Actually, they've developed some of their own roads. It's a little surprising, not gonna lie, but still. I mean, we've only killed off 10 million of them. What do you got here? Oh, you're a mountaineer. Very good. Oh, what is it? Well. <clears throat> there you go. Who's over here? Oh, that's, that is a Republic of China. I didn't realize that. Did you know? And they're trying. I'll give them that. They are absolutely trying. Still. Are they, can they really keep up these losses? Let me attack one more time and then. I'll try it. Ooh, we should begin investments. And if the Kingdom of Siam, which would not only give us easier access to their trade, but allows about a Japanese presence in the country and eventually take over it from the inside. Makes an investment or ally. Granted, in the Mosivi, mutual trade benefits. Once economic penetration is high enough, we'll be able to make them a puppet. Ooh, I like that. Promote naval investments in the Kingdom of Siam. <clears throat> which is basically the same thing, but still. More, more, more Spartans, please. Better rubber. Uh, we don't need this one. Better Marines, maybe? Ah, see, now they're just going all willy-nilly against us. Alright. Can we do this? Their tanks are not looking good. Oh my god, that's a lot of green. Well, it was a lot of green. It's a perfect no, but it will do the best we can. It's going to take us some time. I mean, it's hard to beat an entire literal army up here. Oh yeah, we need to do this, and then... We need to do anything else around here, maybe? Oh, yeah. If we can get to the sea or the ocean here, that'd be fantastic. Can you do anything here at all? Honestly, no, not really. <clears throat> ah, but Nanjing is completely surrounded. This is something we like to see. Ah, but it's just division just dying. The fall of Nanjing. For the Emperor. Very good. Now there's more divisions to spread out and one out through here. Very good. Very good. Ah. This morning we received a request from the Kingdom of Siam to send a small number of advisors to help out in their naval development. A worthy request, yes. Why wouldn't we not? What do we got here? Ah, Hunan is gone. Very good. That's going to eliminate a lot of their soldiers. 
So quite a few. I don't think we can really say we can push out here just yet. But we're getting very close to the coast. Extremely close. Like, we're almost at the coast. And doing this will eliminate a lot of enemies because I'll have to send a lot of uh, convoys through the water. And, well, let's just say they don't have a good enough navy to contest us. Oh, there they go. Okay. Fantastic. <clears throat> What do we got here? Fall of Shanghai. We got him! Look at that. And after this, then it'll be on to India, and hopefully, then finish off with America. And, well, here we're at. It's been taking us quite a while, but we're breaking into India, especially northern India. Once we got a supply base for Kashmir, things work out a lot better, surprisingly. Uh, we're losing a couple convoys here and there. We took out Bhutan right now. We've got a little uh, Indian pocket we got to deal with over here. But then after that, we'll maybe go to war with America and call it a campaign. But they're doing really quite well, I'd say. And even though I want Insul India with us at this point, it's 1947. It's a, it's a been a long campaign, and uh, what is this? I'd like to penetrate the Siamese. Why not? Well, penetration didn't hurt anybody usually. Don't quote me on that one. Gotta get to Calcutta still. You, Dominion of India. Just, just die. You know, just die. Nepal's gotta go. That'd be nice. Uh, improved anti air, very good. Sock artillery designer, and whatnot. And plenty of divisions are dead. Very nice. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to concentrate you guys down here in the center, south, or really central north. Um, you guys, go and train. You're fine. Just a bunch of horses, garrisons, whatnot. We're not really using tanks in this campaign, but that's alright. This war actually should be over, you know, within not, not too much longer, actually. You know what? Do this instead. So overall, it's not bad. Just supplies just got awful through here. Um, as you see, I've been trying to connect a lot of things around here together. It just takes forever to do anything like this. But we do have a rail line through here, so this part has been a giant pain in the butt, though. But we're getting there. We've lost what half a million, six hundred thousand, two thirds of a million. We've killed off two and a half million Indians. So that and the Chinese. And of course, I, I just have to straight up annex all of China. Is that possible to garrison all that? No, God, no. For the love of God, no. How much population do we have? Non-core population is almost a billion. It's not bad. Cypher. Uh, still working on it. But overall, it's not bad. Uh, maybe we should not all go together at the same time to the same place. That might be smart, maybe. Maybe not. Nice. We're going to get all of these divisions for America as well. They've had a lot of time to recover, so. But we've also had a lot of time to make up a quite a big air force. So if we go over here, 2,000. Now we don't, do we have a lot of fuel? We do. But do we have a lot of rubber? Uh, we really don't. Actually, we, oh, we didn't for a while, but I guess we have more than enough rubber now. It's kind of nice. 0.99 political power every day. Yeah, support warlord allies. Many of Japan's warlords are lining up to about. Oh, China's warlords are battling down to line up. I received Japanese power to back them up like old Marshal did. We should oblige them and ensure that our woke up to our proxies in China. Well, doesn't really mean too much anymore, but you know, whatever. Ah, beautiful. And I'll get you it soon enough. More dockyards? Holy crap. There's so many dockyards. Mysore. Ah, we've broken over to the coast. I guess let's go to Mysore. Very nice. How many divisions we got left? 147, which is still quite a few, but still. What is air looking like? Oh, it's actually red. Well, because we don't have a lot of. Oh, King. Oh, and he collapsed. Look at that. King Albert captured. How's that? Hey, we got him. Uh, negative 2,000 score. I know Siamese did quite a bit here, so. There you go. 
Beautiful. I'm very surprised, though, that... I mean, it's just... It doesn't make any sense. To me, at least. Um, that we just can't peace out. I mean, they are clearly defeated. It makes no sense to continue on this war with the Anton. The Anton's basically dead. I'd be embarrassed to call myself part of the Entente if it was like this. Who needs war support? Stability. You know, all that good stuff. Nah, I didn't need it. Of loyalty, there's that one. Content to warfare, support war allies, victory with a vision. Gains the effects gained from the mindset to profits and national spirit will be doubled. Peace and reconstruction. Well, an endless war of attrition will soon benefit no one. Those who say we came into conflict with the warlords due to some noble desire to reunite the Chinese people and end Pan Asian prosperity have it wrong. It's a great war to dominate all of East Asia, and we intend to ensure that our hard won gains will ensure prosperity back home. Proclaim victory over imperialism. Well, I don't think we'll be able to get to that, but... Oh. Yeah. Finally, the victory's in a grasp. Japan's the undisputed master of all East Asia. We have put our rivals in their place and drove out the Europeans from what is rightfully ours. The home isles are the homing center of Asian economy. When the roar tiger roars, the world trembles. Well, can't quite do that one, but... We have the right idea of this campaign, you know. But then, as much as I want to get with these guys, we'll see if we can take out America and then maybe call it a campaign. Well, this is weird. I was waiting for this for a while, but offering peace to the Entente? The war for the Pacific has raged on for some time. The loss of Australia and New Zealand has shattered the Entente's grip in Asia-Pacific region, leaving a few viable bases for them to hold out. With fewer and fewer options as months go by, the diplomatic corps has suggested that the Entente may be willing to accept peace, which allows to establish legitimate governments in the former colonies and allow Pacific trade to flow again. Honestly? Uh... Fate of Burma. Liberate Burma? We're killing ourselves anyways. Fate of Bengal. Uh, there we go, that's fine too. You know what? At this point, no. And we shouldn't suffer any stability for that. If anything, they should suffer stability and war sport losses. We wanted this way long ago, but at this point, and there's no point to even accept peace. They refuse to have peace with us, so. I'm not sure why we get penalized for it. You know, they can't do anything. They can't do jack squat against us now. Um, we're looking pretty darn good, not gonna lie. Well, as long as we got insulin in there. But we got a war go against them, but I don't really feel like going to war with them. America's much more fun. We should probably start working on a uh, war justification against them. Hello? Are you. Where are you? Why are you going all this way around? Are you stupid? Well, apparently they very much are. I don't, wh wh why would you go that direction? Uh, we need more political power to do that. Hello? Why? Why would you stop there? I'm actually a little surprised that Ireland hasn't been taken over yet. But maybe that's just me. Um, whatever. We also are not, uh, as you can see, uh, having stability or whatever, but that's fine, whatever. It is, whatever. Don't really care at this point. Uh, a few more subs, it'd be nice. If you can reach all the way over here, that'd be great, but you don't have to if you don't want. I guess they are up there, too. So let's take a look see. America, what do you got? A little more political power. They're fighting everybody. 20 days, it's not bad. They got three million, man, three and a half million manpower. Quite a few divisions, expected. Uh, not a lot of planes in reserve, it looks like. Probably plenty of equipment, though. Yeah, I got plenty of equipment, you know. Makes sense. You guys should be able to go in and do okay. I'm not sure why you took all the way going around the world like that, America, but, you know, whatever. Kanchen. 
Eat it up. Sean states, give it to the team of Siam. I don't do that. Yeah, this is disgusting. This is very disgusting. Holy crap. But, you know what? It's one of those states that they could use. And you're not a puppet of us, are you? No, you're just an ally for now. We did send attaché to them as well. There you go. Great struggle. Ah, we can actually probably use that. Mount infantry. Just exist, please. Ooh, here's one something I want to try. Uh, armored cars. Garrisons. Do that. 1.99 million jumps up to 0.70,000 more men. Do we have enough armored cars for this? We do. We have enough planes for this. And what if we activate the cipher at the same time? Can we do well against them? The Great Pacific War. Cool. The sun shall not set upon us. Are we going to win everywhere? No. Also, America's at war with Argentina for some reason, too. Don't ask me why. No freaking clue. Advanced light ships. Very cool. Better anti sub stuff. That's fine. I don't care if we have a guy on them or not. So, yeah. America took out Mexico, which they all honestly should. But other than that, what is this? Tachikawa. I like Detroit, and we got Detroit. Ooh, the great struggle, yes. More tech. That'd be good. Alright, let's do that one too. If we can cut them off through here, that'd be fantastic as well. I can't do that, that sucks. We can do this. And cut these few divisions off in the mountains, which is going to be a pain in the butt to take out. Like that. Sure. Convoys. Oh, the Baja Mexico's ours, even though this is the second time in this campaign we've actually gone through here. Look at that. They need war sport. All right, let's take a look. So we've lost how many against America? 107,000. That's quite a few already. On taunt. We've already delivered a quarter million to them. It's not bad. It's pretty good. Union of Britain? Jeez, I'd be scared if I was a Union of Britain. My god. The field hospitals are very, very useful. Extremely useful. Oh, we lost Detroit. Oh, god dang it. Well, look at this. That's not, looking not too bad. For troopers? Eh, I mean, it's 1948. What do you expect? There you go. Yeah, we're doing quite well. As much as I figured. Hey, we made it back to the Gulf of Mexico. What a filthy place. I would know. Oh, you still live there. <sighs> if only Maine was bigger in real life. That would make me happier. But in the meantime... They're building more stuff up. 170 divisions, 4 million manpower. They're raising up more divisions anyways. Uh, let's see. You. I know at least one of you guys is done. You come to Atlanta. It's kind of warm. Probably in April. It's very warm. If not hot. What's going to do here? War propaganda? Yeah, that'd probably be nice to do. Good send of the army for more stability. That actually probably be better. Yeah, we can use some stability. Yeah. My bad. Completely unstable nation that took out China, took out the vast majority of the United States, and going to take, well, going to take out more of the United States now at this point, and Mexico, and Southeast Asia, and Australia, and New Zealand, and India. You, you figured it'd be a very unstable nation. You know, what else would be new? Hey, we got Detroit back. I guess we never made nuclear bombs, did we? Well, nothing like putting nuclear uh, reactors in California. Let's make four. Hello. That's certainly not good. See, that's why we put these guys down here. Oh, that's really not good. Wow. If you could, I would ask you to like help defend, but you're gonna die anyway, so that's the last such effort to like come back up here, but they're not gonna win. Mexico's almost all completely done. Look at that. Oh. All Texas is ours, all that fuel. Nice. They got Florida still though, and a little bit of Michigan, but not a ton of it left. 
Keep going, guys. You're doing a great job. They want to flow through, but whatever. I don't really care at this point. There you go. It's more arty. Arty's fun. Ooh, in Pennsylvania, too. Getting through them planes is very nice. I've not used tanks in a while, have I? Good old Indiana. Get the crap out of them there. They're spreading out very quickly, but just like how we're spreading through Mexico very quickly. Once this part of Mexico is down, we'll send them back up to the north end. America took out half of Cuba. Look at that. Baton Rouge? Yes. God, I would hate to be fighting down here in June. My god. It'd be kind of like fighting the jungles of Southeast Asia almost. Swampy. Oh. Springfield. Hey, we're almost done with Missouri. Look at that. St. Louis is not ours yet, but very soon. But very soon, I mean, basically now. Hey, like I said, basically now. Salem or Boston. Hey, you know, penetrating Ohio. I'm sorry. Mm, still want war propaganda. Oh, of course, we still like penetration. That's why I'm also not doing my focuses, too. I guess we could do national mobilization law. That's some good PP. The war on China's promises has been an immense undertaking that'll tax us to the limit. I wasn't sure that people were ready to bear the burden of warfare on this grand scale. Well, I mean, it's kind of, that's kind of already over. I'm not gonna lie, that's that's long been over. What's the air superiority like? We don't have it. Hmm. They got a lot of planes. Looks like they got a lot of jets, which is not good for us. Which is kind of surprising that our guys aren't doing jack squat. I mean, of course, I guess our guys can't function if they have no amount of space in the air department. But still, which never made sense to me. We're still doing okay. We're still pushing through Illinois, Wisconsin. Alabama. Well, yep, we just hit Alabama. Alright, so we've lost about what? A million. We've killed off about 1.3 million. That's fair. I'm okay with that. Hey, we've got the good old Gare Bear. Scary Gary. Of course, the 1948 should be too scary. Of course, then again, there was a civil war here. It hasn't uh, degraded it too much. Oh, yeah, she got circled there. Look at that. Oh, their plan actually paid off. Wow. I was not planning on getting circled there. No amount of field hospitals can help us with that uh, exchange here. It's alright. Because we're about to do the same thing too, too by cutting off Chicago. Ish, hopefully. All is fair in love of war. As long as we get Florida too. Did we finish down here? Yes, we did. Good. Alright, so I need you guys actually up here. They wanted to do uh, the own Strickleman thingy. And they did. But now they gotta pay for it. So close. Either one of these two provinces. Oh, oh, I, technically. Well, they're all going to die here anyways in Wisconsin. Oh, but we lost that. No, we're not. Keep them in the place. Hello? Ah. I mean, no matter what, they don't have the resources to keep it up against us. Good. Look at our sappers. Well, we did that to them earlier. Nice. Milwaukee will be ours. I've never been to Milwaukee. Hey, pee pee. Or propaganda, yeah. Or sport would be nice. Hey, they're coming back. Actually, they push us out of Indiana. Look at that. But we've been pushing far in the south, so. Go figure. Because we were deploying a lot of soldiers to the northeast. 166 divisions. Anti air is gone almost. Plenty of guns. Yeah. Manpower has dropped by half. That's kind of insane. Because our manpower losses have not been that much. From all this. Yeah, they've been pushing... Where are our divisions? We lost a few divisions here and there, I get it, you know, but still. Give them Fortress Buster. Buster will... Now, now they've abandoned their positions, too. So they're abandoning the south and the northeast. I guess they're reinforcing the midwest. I'm not sure why you want to do that. If anything, I, mean, I guess, you know, our navy is pretty good. You would hunker down. Yeah, we're losing... Where are our divisions going? To me, this makes literally no sense. Okay, so we've lost, we've actually lost a lot of guys here. Holy crap, so I'm gonna continue doing this off screen, and then I'll show you the world as uh, we have it. And there we have it. America's gone, as it should be. Fate of America, kill every single last one of them. But, uh, we're gonna end it there probably. Mexico, for two or three times, taking you out, but you're always part of the, red, the Entente, which doesn't serve very many purposes, but you know, whatever. Overall, it was a fun campaign. The last one was part of uh, America campaign was really god awful just because of the battle lines and the AI and 
don't ever trust AI. But we're on three, a couple of different continents. We have, you know, East Asia here. We've got little portions of uh, Europe and the Netherlands and Ireland for some god-awful reason. And we're in North America, so I'm going to be depleting the population in America very quickly. But if you enjoyed the campaign, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.